What is up guys, H Max is here today doing another LEGO Nexo Knights 2017 review, this time on Battlesuit Clay. This is item number 70362 and it has 79 pieces. On the front of the box you can just see Battlesuit Clay and you can see that there are 5 Nexo powers included in the set. On the back of the box, just like all the other battle suits, you can see how to put clay in the battle suit, and you can see how to play the game with the Nexo powers. Battle suit clay is just like all of the other battle suits. He has a pretty good amount of articulation, which you know, in the arms he can move forward and backwards, side to side. However, his shoulder articulation is a little bit limited, which is unfortunate. And then you have the standard articulation and the legs being able to move it back and front. You can also move his feet forward and backwards along to side to side. Just like the rest of the battle suits, battle suit clay can open up from the center here with this new sort of cage piece they've been using on all the battle suits. And then you can see how clay sits inside and then you can just lift it back up like this. Unlike some of the other battle suits, clay, you know, actually fits in here pretty nice. Um, for Aaron's case, you had to have him sort of not attached however for clay it's fine you can still have the visor down fully without it you know not fully closing with the contraption which is a very nice thing and also just you know a kind of good thing to have clay sword is probably my favorite weapon from all of the battles it's just a very nice build this entire sword blade is just a new piece made for 2017 it's fully brick built you can see that you can move this around there is a backside so if you would rather have them you know have this backside on this side so you know maybe you're doing a pose and you want this side to be shown on you know facing this way then you can do that or you could even have it in the front like this and you could have him like holding his sword up like that charging and interesting enough battle suit clay actually does come with an extra one of this sword piece which is actually pretty nice and it'll be very useful to Marcus. Each one of these battle suits comes with the brand new shield piece which holds three Nexo powers. You can see here there are clips so there is, you know, you can add extra things on there. There is a potential for that. This is rotatable so if you wanted to you could move it and have this yellow one on the top. Or you could have the other one here. And there is also another two Nexo powers included in the set. So if you don't like this particular configuration of Nexo powers you could swap out some for other Nexo powers. The way this is attached you're able to pose it around like this. You could have it just, you know, moving all over the place. And you just get a little bit of extra poseability from the shield. The back of Battlesuit Clay is built the exact same way as every other Battlesuit, only with a slightly different color scheme. And you can see the orange clip here. What you can do with the orange clip is if you have one of the Knights vehicles, you can take a li the little add-on and then you can attach it to Battlesuit Clay to create a more sort of powered up and just fully ready to go into battle version of Battlesuit Clay. Just like all of the battle suits, battle suit clay comes with an exclusive version of clay. And of course, just like all of the knights, you're able to lift the visor up here so you can get a better look at his face. And you can also just see some very nice printing in general. And you can see his symbol in the front, which is also on that new sort of cage piece on the battle suit. On the back of clay, you can see some more nice details and you can also see an alternate face. The Nexo powers included in this set from left to right are Titanium Sword, Mechanical Griffin, Commanding Shout, Flame Wreck, and Chicken Power. Battle Suit Clay is one of the most well-rounded battle suits by far. There isn't really any problems that I have with Battle Suit Clay. The posability is great. You get a lot of just nice playability from the actual weapons. I really think that the solo function works just really really well with the sword because the way the solo function is and you really get a nice sort of slashing look the only sort of issue i would have with the posability would be that you can't move the arms up however i think that's not too big of a deal in the long run as you are able to move the hands the five next of the powers is decent in my case there isn't really much benefit to it mainly because I don't play the game however for those that play the game the five nexo powers is going to be very 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 good because you're going to get a lot of playability just off that alone for some people they're going to want you know maybe an extra sort of like villain character of the battle which in that case you would have to get uh, either Lance vs the Lightning, Aaron Stone Destroyer or Clay's Falcon Fighter Blaster but however that's not too big of a deal for me 
the, the just the ability to be able to combine it with just pretty much any one of the knight's vehicles is very nice. It adds an extra playability to it. And just overall, Battle of Suclays is a very nice, well-rounded set with not much flaws, but a lot of good things about it. So that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed, feel free to check back my channel for more reviews. And my next video will definitely be a overview of all of the battle suits as a team. So, hope you guys look forward to that. Until next time, see you guys later.